friends uh, welcome to edu club for you and uh, today we start a very important subject that is mathematics and uh, in my point of view uh, mathematics is the way of proving the logics of uh, human imagination and it always uh, debate from all exceptional things we can prove anything scientifically and every scientific proof is always go through the path of uh, mathematics and to be master in math you should have the three c's in your life so the first one is the clear concept that you have the second one is the concentration that you have and the third one is the calculation part so calculation is somehow it is very important uh, while we are performing the mathematics and we should always try our level best to calculate everything in a very fast and correct method and calculation is started with numbers so let us uh, start with the numbers today and uh, number is a world of digits so in this world of digits we should try to find out that by using those digits how many different type of numbers that can be formed that may be uh, a whole number that may be prime number that may be composite number that may be rational number that may be irrational number so there are variety of numbers those who are uh, the part of this uh, beginning of mathematics but uh, today we go through uh, a simple one the first one is the prime and composite okay so prime number is such a number where the number of factors is only two the first one is 1 and the second one is itself and every number if it is only having two number of factors that one is 1 and itself then it is considered to be a prime number clear now so if you uh, consider all the prime numbers that exist in this world then prime number having a different property so we should consider those things while we'll try to find out whether a number is prime or not but for that you need little bit idea of divisibility but let us try fast so prime number every time except the 2 and 3 every prime number is in the form of 6k plus and minus 1 6k plus minus 1 or it may be possible that this is in the form of 4k plus minus 1 also but uh, whenever it is in the form of 4k plus 1 so it is a uh, addition of two squares whenever uh, let us take we will take some examples of that that when the prime number is in the form of 4k plus minus 1 only in the case of 4k plus 1 that number is a addition of two squares i'll give you some examples on that but let us try with the example when it is in the form of 6k plus minus 1 let us try the example 7 so in the example 7 it is 6 into 1 plus 1 let us try the example of 13 so if it is 13 then it is 6 into 2 then plus 1 this is 13 but you take the example of 23 so it is 6 into 4 minus 1 let's go to the next example this is uh, let us suppose 137 So this is 6 into 23 minus 1, which is 138 minus 1, 137. So any time, any prime number is in the form of 6k plus minus 1. But that doesn't mean that every time anything is in the form of 6k plus minus 1 is prime. It is not true. The truth is, any number which is prime that can be expressed in the form of 6k plus minus 1. the same thing can be expressed in the form of 4k plus minus 1 but the most important part here is if it is 4k plus minus 1 then that one is a addition of two squares i'll give you some examples well, let us suppose we uh, take some uh, uh, number which is a um, prime number and in the form of uh, 4k uh, plus 1 so here in that part let us suppose i take one example 37 this is 4 into 9 36 and plus 1 so 37 if we were to take 4 into 9 plus 1 37 here 37 is addition of two squares okay so what is that one square plus six square that equals to 37 or we can take another example where 
a prime number in the form of 4k plus 1 so let us you try an example where the number is in the form of 4k plus 1 and we can take the example of uh, let us suppose 97 so 97 means uh, 4 into 24 plus 1 that equals to 97 as it is in the form of 4k plus 1 so it of 4 square plus 9 square where 4 square equals to 16 and 9 square equals to 81 so the sum of 16 and 81 that equals to 97 clear now so we can conclude that a pre prime number in the form of 6k plus minus 1 or in the form of 4k plus minus 1 and the second one is if it is in the form of 4k plus 1 then that one is the addition of two squares clear now let us try for the composite number composite number is every number having more than two more than two number of factors okay now for knowing the composite number it can divisible by 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 anything so it can divisible by anything in excluding one and itself so it always having factors either 3 or more than 3 number of factors so this is all about the prime numbers and composite numbers and in the next we try to find out what is the idea we should implement to find out the divisibility of every number at sudden in a very quick manner if you wants to become the champion in mathematics then you should have three tools and the first one is you should learn the tables from 1 to 25 it is most important one the second one is you should learn the squares from 1 to 20 and third one is you should learn the cube of 1 to 20 these three tools are highly required to find out everything in basic mathematics way or in super fast way or in quick technique way for everything these three tools are required okay so in the next video we will try to find out regarding the divisibility and we will try to find out other things also so keep watching this video for any club for you and if you are having any ideas any views you can share with the facebook and other uh, twitter ways or you can subscribe this uh, channel to go for the next videos thank you